Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so look, uh, we're going to take a look at Versin's Reslice. So, a uh, new app from Versin. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, you, you it, it, it import your, your files or whatever you like. Uh, you can record directly and import from Audio Share. So, we can, we can import something in here. Um, we can we could select something and then it'll ask us to import in. So, we won't bother with that just for a sec. And then you'll you'll get it. It'll import like this, and then you have all these different ways you can control your. You can play. These are uh, some presets. You get some presets to start, which is very nice. There you go. You get it for you, not loads, because you're gonna want to use your own. That's the <clears throat> that's the idea of the app. So you can trigger it in various ways. Um, you can use the keyboard. You can use MIDI. I've got it MIDI. Uh, you can. It's polyphonic. Uh, it plays, um, how it triggers is down to the arpeggiator. Now, you know all, uh, how brilliant Versin's arpeggiators are. So you can, you know, you can put your own in or you can do whatever you like with the arpeggiator. It's very cool. Uh, you can randomize it here or you can select from presets. So if we select like uh, octaves, like this, it's okay. And, and it, you know, you can adjust your your travel length as well just by doing this is very simple it's very straightforward it's very cool uh, if we select a different uh, thing now this will go to the presets uh, setup for this particular preset sort of thing so that me playing a, a chord on the MIDI keyboard And once you've got that as well, you also have your effects. So you could say you want some uh, reverb. Or we could put some phasing in. You can play it anywhere you like. So, now here's the cool thing as well. What you can do also is that you can rearrange your slices any way you like. So you just hit slices then. And this will let you, you can just uh, start deleting slices. And that will change the way it triggers. And then you can just add slices in by hitting this little plus here. And of course, what you can also do is if you use the top bit here, you can, you can move your slices around a bit. So you can set your slice points up exactly where you'd like. Uh, okay, so so for instance, uh, what we can also do is we can record, we can record straight in, and whatever I'm saying, and I pick up on a microphone like this. So yeah, I'm saying, I'm... Uh, now, if I go to effect, or let's uh, just draw up the reverb down a little bit there because it's a bit too much. Take the phaser off. Whatever, straight, straight, whatever, straight, straight, whatever, straight, whatever, 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 just triggering different notes on the MIDI keyboard. Um, yeah, so we could do this and say, well, there's too much going on there, so we could just delete a load of those, like those, like that. <coughs> So we're going to get some feedback going on. So and then we can add back in where we are. And then we can. In whatever. In whatever. I'm saying. Now the other cool thing as well here is that we can also control the release. So if we didn't want the release to be so much on that, because it's a bit much, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's hit that now and uh in a whatever I'm saying like in a whatever in a whatever and not not the reverse release and then in, 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 in. say in, I'm saying like in, pick up on the microphone close straight in a whatever in a whatever close in, straight, close straight. In. and then also you can see what's going on you can adjust the pitches as well so close straight in a whatever pick up on the mic close straight in a whatever close straight be can be now, you guys are going to start noticing now the very, very, very cool stuff you could do. Uh, let's just try importing as well. Oh, I'll look here. So let's just import this. This was a full track, so you can see that it's a three, <coughs> a three, a three-minute song. 
now you can see that it's all bunched up at the beginning there but that's because we need to go onto slices and we can start moving i can pick up some of them there you go we can we can move our slices wherever we go actually let's just make life easy and just <laughs> tap around and delete some stuff. because it's a long because that's a long piece of music it's a normal size track it all bunches at the beginning but it's like i said it's easy enough to let's just delete that one there it's easy enough to move your slices about once you can separate them a bit bit of work you know bit of work let's see i don't like, <laughs> don't like to be too easy you know what i mean So now you, when you've, you see, you, each time you add a slice as well, you can, it'll split it, and you can add another slice in between. Now, with something like this, I think I think the release should be quite low because I'm on a trig bits. Not even less. So you can, like I said, you can input the whole thing and you can set it up so it's nice. <laughs> That's a track from the uh, Last Will and Testament of Walter Canterbury, one of mine and Colin's uh, albums. Um, it doesn't sound like that, trust me. <laughs> So what you can do as well, depending on where you're, so you can control the pitch. So you can see that you can uh, start to uh, build up your own stuff really cool. So by adjusting the level, the pan, the attack, you can you can reverse that. So you could reverse that one. Very cool. And I suppose that we could make it really choppy. Like I said, you get some, um, you get a few presets to start with. And you can add as many slices as that you can fit in as you like, and then you get your full effect, your off edge. So there you go, guys. There's the reslice version. Go buy it, knock yourselves out, have loads of fun. It's very cool. Of course, it's all the usual stuff that you would expect audio, bus, etc., etc. Uh, so yeah, it's all very cool, very nice, and there's lots of lots of different things you can do to control various parts and bits and pieces. There you go. Oh, you enjoyed this, guys. If you can become a cage for Patreon, <coughs> please do. And I will see you guys later. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. <clears throat>